Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Harper Realtors. Well, today I'm coming to you from Fisher Park on the east side of New Braunfels, Texas. I've got a client who's interested in a house about a half a mile from here. He's got kids, so this is a perfect opportunity to show off this wonderful park. All right, let's go check it out. All right, right now I'm in one of the uh, picnic pavilions. Uh, I saw a sign that's already reserved for another kiddo's birthday. Uh, I believe you can reserve these for just like $25. So uh, they have some neat stuff. Hopefully you saw the sign on the intro. They have like a little play archeology span dig. Uh, I'm gonna show off the little splash pad area here. But uh, yeah, this is, if you're coming down 35, it's on the east side of it, just off of uh, Seguin Avenue. Uh, but yeah, that's a wonderful park. Uh, my little kiddo has been out here a couple times before. I'm gonna try to respect people's privacies by not getting too close to them when they're doing birthday parties and stuff like that but uh yeah see they got a full house over there another one set up but yeah here's uh they got a little playgrounds for all ages out here you see we got the little younger kiddo playground area the big splash pad they got one of those uh dunk buckets And then the big grand pavilion out here for if you're doing larger events. So yeah, as I'm filming this, it is late, I mean, oh, early September, 2023. Uh, we've only got like one more or maybe two weeks of this really crazy hot weather. But here's another little playground set. They do have restrooms and uh, changing areas. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Hey, happy, happy blue. But my daughter loves this little climbing thing here. So uh, when the weather's not so crazy hot, you'll see kids out here climbing all over the place. But yeah, this is a wonderful park. Perfect for, <laughs> perfect for people with families. All right, let's go see what else we can see in this area. All right, we are at another section of the park. It's this cool little amphitheater. I'm sure they do some community stuff up here and places for adults to either sit on the ledge, bring their chairs up here, and another massive pavilion right up there. But yeah, this is a pretty good sized park. Uh, it's not as big as Landa Park that's in downtown New Braunfels. Speaking of downtown New Braunfels, you are probably a seven minute drive from here to being right in the heart of downtown New Braunfels off of Seguin Avenue. And then you got San Antonio Street where they combined where it's really cool uh, pavilion area, courthouse, all that stuff is right downtown New Braunfels. Hopefully you saw some of my videos that I've done for when we have different festivals downtown New Braunfels. All right, I'm gonna go walk down here and show off this cool pond area. All right, we do have this cool little playground area. Unfortunately, it's closed. Not sure why, but uh, I'm sure there are reasons. But yeah, lots of little informational signs around here about the park. We do have uh, fruit bats in the area. Uh, Bracken uh, Cave is a really popular one. Don't let bats freak you out. They're very, very beneficial. Well, yeah, check out this beautiful pond here. This is an absolute gorgeous pond. I have seen people come out here and drop their kayaks in just far around, and I'm probably sure there's some fish in here to go do a little fishing at. So yeah, people don't realize just how beautiful some parts of Texas are. Oh, there's some kayaks back there through the trees. So I'm sure you could probably rent them if you wanted to. All right, we got a little nature thing, a lot of sage in here, but yeah, it's been so dang hot this summer. But uh, so the sage isn't really doing so well, but normally it's blooming and really attracts a lot of butterflies. So here's Rachel talk about the monarch butterflies and uh, they come past through this part of uh, Texas on their migration path. A couple of different species of butterflies do. So having blue sage or Mexican sage is always a good thing out there because it's kind of cool that time of year. It's usually 
believe early spring is when they come through but yeah they got some kid stuff going on indoor area there but here's a a big sand pit where they kind of call this their archaeology sand pit where you can go through siphon through things i think the people here bury stuff for kids to discover which is kind of cool all right looks like some uh little gift shop and stuff in there cool windmill i'm coming at this from the back part of the park Kids do family day out. This is a Saturday. Yes, I work on Saturdays too. <laughs> but yeah, another view of this beautiful pond and these kayaks. But yeah, ready for the weather to cool off. I think we've got one week left. And then we're going to start getting into the low 90s. And in two weeks, we're going to be in the 80s. And it keeps getting better after that. Oh yeah really nice kayaks love this park uh taking my daughter out here a couple of times and she really likes it so mentioned before good place gonna put some kayaks in talk about how making it easy to drop some kayaks in here and pedal around we got one guy out there fishing some ducks just kind of chilling out here All right, that's going to do it for the tour of Fisher Park in New Braunfels, Texas. Beautiful park. Not as nice as Landa Park. Look up here for Landa Park video because I absolutely love Landa Park. But this park has a lot going for it on this side of New Braunfels. And New Braunfels is such a great family-friendly place. Good schools. Lots of places like this and things to do. There's like a wonderful children's museum in the downtown area. I, I can't say much. <clears throat> Enough about it. I love living in this area. But yeah, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and of course, share these videos from friends and family. All right, take care now.